the iPad. It flat out dominates the tablet market as we speak, with something around 80% market share. But just as Android phones pulled up neck and neck with the iPhone, Android tablets could do the same. I'm Brian Cooley with top five ways that that could happen, according to developers who write tablet apps. Number five, new places to buy apps. iPad is, of course, tied to the iTunes Store. But the IDC research with developers says that while it's the biggest, not everyone thinks it's the best. You see, developers like freedom almost as much as they like beer. So Stevo's parental ways in the iTunes Store have them always seeking looser ground. Developers would also like to have multiple app stores for any given tablet, like Amazon and Android Marketplace and many others. The number four way developers tell IDC research that Android can beat Apple in the tablet game is the Honeycomb OS, kind of a secret weapon. This is that new version of Android specifically built for tablets. It debuts first on the Motorola Zoom, which was CNET's Best of CES award winner for 2011. And for the first time, it'll give us an Android flavor that really stretches out and rocks a larger screen. Plus, support for multi-core processors, uh, built-in management tools for business customers, too. That could also fuel a lot of sales. Number three, more bells and whistles. Let's face it, Apple has the knack of giving you less and convincing you it's more. Don't know how they do that. But things like cameras, expansion ports, different sizes, 4G, oh yeah, and flash support so you can actually use the web, those might all print with consumers in ways that the iPad doesn't and may never do. Number two, developers say control fragmentation. This is kind of under the hood, but it's key. You see, there are many flavors of Android at any given time. You've probably seen all these. 2.1, 2.2, 2.3, Honeycomb is 3.0. They're all out there in the wild competing for consumer attention. Then add the various skins that hardware makers put over Android to make it look like their own deal. Now you got a serious threat of confusing people to death and getting them to flock back to the land of simple, Steve's house. Before we get to our number one way that Android tablets could beat the iPad, here are five of the most anticipated Android tablets that are either on the way or on the market for 2011 as we speak. Kind of a formidable onslaught, wouldn't you say? Okay, the number one way developers think that Android tablets can outshine the iPad is be cheaper. That's right, this is Apple's Achilles heel. Their stuff's expensive, and a lot of folks like cheaper. Imagine that. The iPad starts at 500 goes up to about 830 That's a month's net pay for a lot of people. They're not going to be running around with an iPad. Android tablets will be in heavy price competition, both between the makers of some, what, 80 or 90 models that are coming on market, as well as between the retailers who will have the flexibility to discount them, unlike Apple products. Now, of course, stay on top of all the new Android tablets that are coming out. We cover them obsessively on CNET.com. And for more top fives like this one, go to top5.cnet.com. I'm Brian Cooley. Thanks for watching.